guys, welcome to my channel. So this is my very first YouTube video and today I'm going to be doing a drugstore get rid of with me, just using the makeup bits I have um, and just doing my makeup. So please stick around and watch the video, comment below what you would like to see next, subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. So let's get into the video. So first of all, I've got my primer which is a Maybelline primer and because I have really oily skin this is just like really good for mattifying my skin and obviously having like bad pores like on my chin and obviously on my nose obviously if I'm looking over here it's because the screen's here that's where I can see but yeah so just put that on Obviously I don't put it on my eyes and then I mainly put it in the areas where my uh, makeup tends to not last so long. So while that's sitting in, I will go in with my eyeshadow. Now the eyeshadow that I'm using today is Revolution, it's the what is it? Forever Flawless. So. Oh, these are the colours. There's a lot of pinks and neutrals there, which is like some of the ones I often tend to go for. So I'm just going to take these brushes. I think you can get them from like Boots and Superdrug. Very cheap. And I'm just going to start with Sweetheart shade there. I'm just going to get that. And just put it in the crease. I don't usually prime my eyes. I don't really see the um the point in priming them because my eyeshadow usually tends to stay on. And eyeshadow is probably my most favourite, most enjoyable bit about makeup. So as you can see, you can't really see much, but that's just like a layout shade. I'm then probably going to go in with Risky, just that one there. Excuse my nails. They're slowly sh but surely coming off. And then I'm just going to that in. So as you can see, it's slowly coming together now. I'm just going to do like a natural but neutral look. And yes, I am using the same brush for this. But it's because I'm putting the base colours down. It doesn't really matter that much but yeah I find it so hard to talk and do my makeup I'm so used to doing it on my own I don't really talk that much but let me know in the comments how you guys are doing what what are you up to how's lockdown treating you like I said future video suggestions would be very much appreciated I'm just going to take another brush that's the same brand and I'm just going to take Nymph just there. It's like a dark purple. And I'm just going to do this in the crease. I quite like this, this palette because it gives like a mixture of darks. It's like pink but still like quite neutral. I usually go for like oranges because of the colour of my eyes. I like the bluey green and yes yeah, so I had to check the colour of my eyes then go me but yeah it just gives a nice like pinky effect obviously this isn't the best because I'm talking a lot and I don't want to bore you with all the eyeshadow but then what I would usually do I usually get a setting spray the only one I have is Morph and I wouldn't really say that's a drugstore because if we're talking drugstore, we're talking fairly cheap. I would get a brush similar to this, like a flat brush, and I'd just wet it, and I'd go in with any like sparkly shade. Probably going to go for this one right here, which is Sinner. Excuse the state of the palette. And then I'm just going to put this over the eyelid. Everyone does this differently, they do halo eyes and 
but this is me we're talking about. I'm no makeup expert. And then same on this one, just I love the shimmers in this. They're so like they could have really just pay off. They're really good, like you see those shimmer there? Yep. And then probably just take a brush and go back in with a sweet art shade. And then obviously like just blend that out a bit. Just to give it a bit more a bit more depth. That's the eyes pretty much done for now. So moving on to foundation that I use. By the way, if you have a makeup bag and you have so much things in there that everything's all over the place, you probably already know this. I put bubbles around mine and put them in so they're in sections, it's so much easier. So in here I've got my foundation, I've got my concealer. So I'm just going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, get a quick shake. And because I have really oily skin, like on my nose and my T-zone, this really helps. I've never used, well that's a lie, I have used other, other foundations. I've got um, a Charlotte Tilbury foundation and um, some other Charlotte Tilbury bits. If you'd like to see a video on that, let me know and I can do that for you. But this foundation has such good coverage. It lasts all day and when I'm at work, it gets very hot. I work in a pub, so behind the bar, busy nights on the weekend. This is great because, as you can see, really mattifies your skin. I haven't put too much on, but it does have really good... That didn't go to plan, did it? It has really good coverage on, on it. And I always get told when I wear this that my makeup looks really nice, like my skin. And it's literally just because of the foundation. And the beauty blender I'm using is just, I think it's Super Drug's own brand, like the, the B, I think. I'm not too sure entirely what it's called, but usually I'll just use um, a Real Technique, Techniques one or I'll use um, a beauty blender. That's the one, that brand. I don't really have a particular preference because I like them all. This one's actually quite nice. It's a, it comes up a bit bigger when you wet it compared to the others, but it's not too bad. It'll do. When people ask what's my favourite makeup product, I never really know the answer. I don't know why, because I like more makeup. I find it hard to pick, like, if you could only have one makeup product, what would it be that you couldn't live without? No idea. I couldn't just have foundation because I like setting it with powder because of my skin. Um, ignore my cat there. I do like eyeshadow, like I'd probably say eyeshadow to be honest. Um, just because I like doing it and it's um, I like the colours and like putting colours together. I'm no makeup expert so when you see all these fancy like eyeshadow looks I'm just like that's nice but that's not something I could do. Um, yeah, so once my foundation is on, just blend that a bit more, blend it into there. That's done. So now, what I tend to do is concealer. Now, so many people rave about this concealer, and I did. I went and got the biggest size that they did at the time. I don't know if they do a bigger one now. But it's the Revolution Conceal and Define, and it's in the shade 1. My foundation was also in the shade Vanilla, which is in 11. So take from that what you will. I do have quite pale skin. Um, very pale skin, actually. Like, it's awful. And I do fake tan. Like, I can do a video on tanning if you want me to. Let me know down below. I love doing my makeup, but 
do so much effort. I have to be in the mood to do it, so for the purpose of the video, we're going with it. <laughs> This concealer really does help my under eye bags as well, like, because believe it or not, I'm only 22, my eye bags are insane. Obviously working in a pub, going from like coming home at half 11, half 12, to not working in a pub, to being home 24 seven, not doing anything, I'm hardly sleeping because of this current virus going around. Not that that's a problem because there's bigger things going on right now. But once that's done, I don't actually have a powder that's drugstore. The only one I do have is the Laura Mercier one, and I believe that's around £20. It is a bit pricey, but I'm just going to go in with this. Oh, this brush. I actually got this brush off Wish. I got it a couple of years ago, and it is so, so soft. One of the best makeup brushes I've probably ever owned. I'll just tap that off and I'll just go under my eyes. And just like all around my face, especially with my T zone, because that is really where I tend to shine a lot. It's nice to shine, but not for me. A lot of YouTubers like Imogen, like Imagination, she was like dewy makeup looks and I'm just like you look amazing but if that was me it'd be off in seconds due to sweat so once that is on looking a bit pale now not that we're pale anyway so that is done now I'm gonna do some bronzer I usually contour with um the Clinique chubby stick um but obviously that's a little bit more expensive, but so is the bronzer, but we're going with it anyway. The bronzer I'm using, I can get the brush, it's the Hula bronzer. I actually got this for my birthday, oh, because I didn't want to pay for it myself because so it was too expensive. And then I'm just taking the Real Techniques powder brush, Rebel, I'm using the powder brush for the bronzer. Everything's going wrong. Just my luck. Anyway, so I just put that in the hollows of my cheeks and then kind of blend it out. I do use it as um, a bit of a contour as well sometimes if I'm not really going for anything major. So once I've done that, I don't really know why I put it on my forehead to be honest. I see everyone else doing it and I think it's fine. Who am I kidding? That is done. Sometimes you can put it under your jawline, but I always think that's going to make me look orange and look like I have um, I look like a foundation line, but I'm going with it. So then, once that is done, we move on to what is next? Eyebrows. So, let's not talk about eyebrows, because my eyebrows are a state right now. And I've also left my eyebrow thing in the bedroom. What is this? Can I use this? Apparently I thought That's I could good. use a lip brush for my Just eyebrows. My eyebrow thing. So I'm back with my eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, eyebrow. And I usually just use the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. And what I do is I just brush them through, obviously. Absolute mess right now. Who am I kidding? I'm trying to sort these out. Shocking. I just brush them through. And then just take the... I usually do a line underneath first. Just to give me a bit of a, a better outline on things. And then obviously I don't need too much. So then I'll just... Brush whatever products there through and it just gives it a bit more definition as you can see. And being left handed, this is hard because no, I probably don't want you there. Literally, 
cannot see what I'm doing for the life of me right now. But for the YouTube I'll do it. And I'll just brush that through. They look alright. That'll do for now. So then, eyebrows are done. Foundation's done. Powder, concealer. What do we have left? Under the eyes. So, back with the brush that I was just using. I'm probably going to take the Sweetheart shade and the Risky shade. I'm just going to go under my eyes with those shades. Like so, just to give it a bit more, a bit more definition like that. And then, because I don't have a drugstore highlighter, I did have one, it was a Revolution one, but I didn't use it, so I got rid of it. I'm taking this Luxie brush, I got this in a glossy box last year, and I'm going to take magnetic and maybe a bit of flaunt and I'm just gonna highlight cheekbones there. Some people do use eyeshadow um highlight which is perfectly fine. It does give a bit of a glow, I'm not a big fan of it. And you just down the nose. Not really working, but it'll do. And then, getting near the end now, guys. I do mascara. So, I use, I don't have normal mascara. There's drugstore. I only have the Roller Lash Benefit. I swear by this. I love watching Jeffree Star, and this is where I got this from. I do have some Jeffree Star products, so if you'd like to see a video on that, let me know in the comments and I can do a video on that. Um swear by this mascara, it's so good. And the thing I like about this is the brush. It's like an arched shape. And I love this because it's just so good. It's not thick. So obviously if you like thick, thick, clumpy mascaras like um so does life. It was so just now. She loves clumpy mascaras. I don't. This one is really nice just to have like natural nails. Natural nails, natural lashes, and you can also just like build it up. Maybe put a bit on the bottom. I don't wear false eyelashes either, so with some of my makeup I probably should, but I'm just not the type of person to do false lashes because it will just go completely wrong for me. Um, I was going to say something else, what was I going to say? I've totally forgot what I was going to say. We'll do lipstick anyway. So I've just got this NYX in the shade Natural, I think. Which says MLS9. Totally wrong way around, isn't it? No. Yeah. And I'm just going to put this on. And there we have it. That is pretty much my makeup routine. And then if you want, you can just go in with a clear brow gel for your eyebrows. Just make them look a bit more fluffy. But yeah, that is my makeup book using drugstore products. Obviously, like I said before, if you want to see anything else, comment down below. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.